Hello everyone and welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> I recently moved into a new place and there's a bathroom down here downstairs, like a half bathroom, a guest bathroom that I haven't done anything with. And bachelor pad is not the aesthetic I'm going for at my new place. So I figured what better place to go and try and find stuff to kind of perk up my bathroom than Bed Bath & Beyond. It turns out though there were better places than Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the same location that I filmed for my video two years ago, so I thought it would be a good chance to see how things have changed. For example, I don't think there was a bird's nest in the Bee of Beyond the last time I was here two years ago. In that previous video, I covered the history of Bed Bath & Beyond as well as some of the problems they were facing back then two years ago. However, they've been in the news again recently because they're still having problems. And I also need stuff for my new place, so I figured this would be a good chance to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Just not the birds in the nest in the sign. That's weird, a ramen gift pack at Bed Bath & Beyond? That's not something I would think I would see here. So two years ago, their sales were in a funk, and as of today, Bed Bath & Beyond's sales are slumping even further. Now two years ago, they did have a little bit of cash on hand at least, but They've spent much of that cash on stock buybacks and now they don't have cash to cover capital expenses and things like that because of the slumping sales. See now this is something I want for my bathroom but I'm not going to get it here because of the price. Something you may notice in this footage, especially if you look at my previous video, is those blue curtains hanging all above all the displays. When I filmed the first video here, this store was stacked literally floor to ceiling with product. Now they've removed everything from the top sections and just covered those empty parts with these blue curtains. And I mentioned in the previous video that I felt like there was way too much stock in the store. However, just keeping the empty space and covering it with blue curtains like that just makes the store seem even sadder in a way. Like you can tell that those were all empty spaces where stuff for sale used to be. Even though this panoramic LED fireplace doesn't put off any actual heat, it was really warm in the store and there have been reports of Bed Bath & Beyond raising the air conditioning in their stores to try and save money on utilities. I was going to ask, does anybody actually buy this crap? But the answer is no, based on Bed Bath & Beyond sales and also just the lack of amount of people in the store. This was in the middle of the afternoon on the weekend. And there were other stores in this shopping center that were very busy. It seems like Bed Bath & Beyond has made a lot of really poor decisions in the last few years and now they're starting to see the consequences of that. During this trip I actually had one of the fabled 20% off coupons and I still wasn't so far seeing anything that I really wanted. However, I haven't gotten to the bathroom stuff yet, but I wanted to make my way kind of to the clearance section first to see if I could find anything there. There was nothing on that table useful, but I did see some furniture over here and it looks like they're carrying a lot more flat pack type furniture and I think a lot of this stuff is their own brands. That's kind of one of the things that they were concentrating on is building up their own brands. But that doesn't seem to have helped them at all. Now as far as stuff that I actually need for my bathroom, I need things like hand towels. I need art because there's like a ton of bare walls in there. But I didn't see anything in the whole store that I liked as far as art or anything I would want to hang on my wall. I also need things like a garbage can, maybe some sort of storage shelves or something, you know, someplace to put extra rolls of toilet paper so I don't have to run upstairs to the linen closet up there for more rolls. I even need a soap dispenser. All I have in there right now is a little cheap soap pump thing that I bought, but I'd like to get something refillable so I'm not throwing away packaging and stuff all the time. They didn't seem to have a ton of bathroom related stuff in the clearance section, but there were a bunch of these hand towels. The prices vary quite a bit on some of these and a lot of them were cheaper than others and I actually found some in a color that I like that were some of the cheapest over there. So this is definitely a score. I like these, I think the color is perfect and these were $3.24 for the bigger towels, that's a pretty good deal. I also grabbed some of the matching washcloths because they were really cheap too, only $1.99. So I actually found something for the bathroom, but just the towel so far. And I think I'm about halfway through the store at this point. Okay, normally I hate these kind of signs, but it would have been kind of funny to get the eat one and put it above the toilets. 
Ah, the Cardinals, the Cowboys, and the Packers. Arizona's three NFL teams. Sometimes it seems like there's more Cowboys and Packers fans than Cardinals fans here. It's been reported that Bed Bath & Beyond is also looking into selling their Bye Bye Baby stores, which I would love to show you in a video, one of those stores, but I'm pretty sure if I went and filmed a baby product store and I got caught or somebody saw me, I would just go right to jail. So you'll just have to look up and see what those look like. But they're basically Bed Bath & Beyond, but all full of baby products, you know, cribs to diapers, formula, all that stuff. Selling that might get some quick cash, but I feel like they're just probably going to waste a lot more of it on stock buybacks. I imagine they're going to probably start closing locations soon. I haven't seen any announcements or anything, but if there's a lot of stores that look like this with just like very little footfall and on the weekend, they're going to have to start closing some of the locations. There's also been reports of them cutting employee hours quite a bit, which is probably leading to the displays looking like this now, very disheveled and stuff, which I don't blame the employees for at all. They're not being scheduled hours to fix this stuff. You know, after walking through one of these stores again, I take issue with the name Bed Bath & Beyond. If they were going to put the name like in the order of what they seem to carry the most of, the name of this store should be like Bed, some other crap, and then some bath stuff over in the one corner. Because there's like no bathroom stuff in the store hardly at all. It mostly seems to be bedding related stuff. There's a touch of home decor and other random crap, although at least there's not any more Ryan's World toys here. They seem to have cut that down quite a bit, but there's still a lot of what I would kind of call junk, like sharper image type stuff here. And then just, yeah, one corner of the store had bathroom stuff. Uh, now here's something I was actually looking for, a little shelving thing for the bathroom. You know, maybe put a basket on one shelf to put some stuff in and then some extra rolls of toilet paper. But this thing seems kind of small for $35. Although I noticed some of them were on sale for $24.50, so that seemed a little bit more reasonable, and this is a little bit smaller than I wanted, but it'll work, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So now we've got towels and shelves taken care of. Thankfully, it's just a little half bathroom that I'm trying to get stuff for here, because if it was like a full bath with a shower and all that stuff, I would really be spending a fortune looking at some of the prices of stuff here. Although I did notice they no longer have $75 toilet bowl cleaners. This looks a little bit more reasonable. I don't need one of these though because I already have one that I keep in one of the other bathrooms. Now I do need like a little garbage can. I don't like any of these though. I want something a little sleeker and more decorative than this. And I also need a soap dispenser but not an $85 soap dispenser. That's insane. I found a garbage can that I actually like over here, but it's $72. But it's like glass and stone and it's it's really pretty. I actually like this quite a bit, but I don't $72 like it. That's another one of their problems though. The middle class people that would shop at Bed Bath & Beyond aren't going to spend $72 on a garbage can. They did have some more reasonably priced stuff, but still I felt like pretty expensive for what it was and I'm really not into any of this especially not for the prices. I did eventually find one I liked though. This one is a little bit more than I really wanted to spend, but I liked it. It matches the colors of the bathroom pretty good and it's nice and heavy and glass. I think it'll look classy in there. Something else I was thinking maybe I wanted was like some sort of a little rug or something to go in there just because it's you know so much bare tile and it's a little echoey in there. I didn't care for any of them over here. They were, you know, either solid colors, which I didn't want, or patterns I didn't like. I did, however, find this one that I liked quite a bit. I liked the pattern on it, and it felt pretty decent, but $70. I'm not spending $70 for a little rug for my guest bathroom. I also did look at the towels, even though I had found towels that I wanted. And uh, you can see which ones are the least popular here. They're the ones that are, uh, you know, morning after cheap taco night brown. Yeah, that's not a good color for bathroom towels. Nobody wants that, and you can tell because that whole display is almost completely full. Something I found interesting is during this trip, it was a lot of sharper image stuff that was here, but on the previous trip, it was all Brookstone stuff. I mean, they're basically kind of the same thing, but it's interesting to see the switch. It was at this point that I kind of realized I really was not going to find a whole lot of stuff for my bathroom here. I had gone through pretty much the entire store, including the whole bathroom section, and all I got were some towels, a soap dispenser, and a little shelf. 
I figured while I was here, though, I should, you know, take a look at the rest of the store. For example, the as seen on TV section. Although, a lot of this doesn't actually seem to be as seen on TV stuff, so that's kind of weird. Signs a little misleading. Then I noticed this stuff over here. This is all uh, face skincare stuff. What is a quartz beauty bar? What is this even supposed to do? You just rub that on your face? This seems like some sort of like quack medical device. A microderm wand, facial cleaning system. I guess you can buff your face. This looks like auto body shop tools. Ultrasonic scrubber. That That's sharp. That doesn't seem like any of this stuff would be great for your face. Sanding and buffing your face like a car doesn't seem like a good idea. And here's a look at the men's grooming section, which is a great time to talk about this episode's sponsor, Manscaped. I'm just joking. <laughs> so after this trip and all of the stuff in the news about Bed Bath & Beyond, I think their future is pretty uncertain. Also, this trip was pretty much a complete failure as far as trying to deck out my bathroom, but let's take the couple of things I got and see if I can at least make my bathroom look decent. Nope, I can't, because this shelving thing that I bought is defective, so I had to bring it back and return it. The last piece, when I got to this last piece, I realized this part doesn't have a hole drilled through it like it's supposed to to have the screw go through and hold the shelf. So all I ended up with was some towels and a soap dispenser. Since I had to make the trip over here to return this thing and Bed Bath & Beyond was almost useless, I went next door to Target. And that brings me to what I think is another one of Bed Bath & Beyond's problems. Target. Target carries most of the stuff that Bed Bath & Beyond carries and it may not be as nice or whatever, but it's nice enough and this store is much more affordable to shop in. This video is not sponsored by Target and Target definitely has its problems like every store has, but for this particular purpose, for what I was shopping for, I had much better luck finding things that I liked for things that were much more in the price range I was looking to spend. Everyone knows what a Target looks like, so I'm not going to bore you with the shopping for everything at Target. And there was still things that I didn't find, like artwork and things that I liked, but I found a lot of things that I did like, and I think look really great in the bathroom. I think the middle class is just more likely to shop for the kind of things that I'm shopping for at Target instead of places like Bed Bath & Beyond. Plus, Target is a one-stop shop. Target carries everything that that Bed Bath & Beyond carried, Plus this one, which is right next door to that Bed Bath & Beyond, has groceries and appliances and video games and all kinds of other things. To be honest, Target is a problem for a lot of retailers, not just Bed Bath & Beyond. Let's head back to my place now though and check out the bathroom with everything all set up. No thanks to Bed Bath & Beyond. So here's what it looks like now. I think it's a lot more functional and it looks pretty good too. Now I had this shelf already from before I moved so I put that there because I needed some place to put the soap dispenser and I think it looks pretty great. And now that I'm remembering I'm pretty sure I bought this shelf at Target a few years ago. And next to the soap we've got the little spray bottle of uh, poopery here. And this stuff is great and it really does work. No one's going to have to smell anything coming from here downstairs. Now, the storage jars and that tissue box there I got at Target, and uh, these towels are the ones that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. But I love the wood grain jars and uh, tissue box. And then I also got this basket down here at Target, and I've got a place to put a couple of extra rolls of toilet paper, and I put some other useful things like band-aids and sunscreens, so I don't have to always run upstairs for things. There's Q-tips there, so that's nice. And also they're there for guests to use. And, because I didn't find any artwork, I hung that link picture up that was sitting next to the bathroom at the beginning of the video. Here's the garbage can that I also found at Target, and I like this one. It's metal, it looks nice. The link picture is just a temporary goofy thing until I find some actual artwork for in here. Thanks for watching everyone, and to Bed Bath & Beyond, thanks for almost nothing as far as setting up my guest bathroom goes. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my update video on Bed Bath & Beyond. Hopefully you enjoyed the little bit of home decor twist to it. 
If you did like it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at these social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel.